Almost a week later and Danny Staff is still on cloud nine. Last week he pulled off a great comeback in the Big Al Delay Memorial. It's fantastic. It's huge for us. Um, you know, we've, uh, like I said, biggest win of my career. And, uh, and we've had a challenging year. And we were involved in a big wreck and, uh, and tore up the car. And, uh, and we've had to change motors a couple weeks later and uh, had our ups and downs. And, uh, and to get a feature win and a, in a big race like that, is, uh, is pretty special. It's a race he won't forget anytime soon. After the reigning champ Rick Delane bowed out with mechanical failure halfway through the race, Scott Greer took the lead spot, but in the final lap, Staff crept up on the leader. Danny Staff, Scott Greer, man this is close, Greer hits the throttle, he's gonna go wide, Staff's gonna go inside, what's it gonna be down at the wire, what's it gonna be, it is Danny Staff! You know, he's so much fun to race against and uh, and we've had some good battles this year and, and in the past as well and to go uh, to race side by side for the win and uh, and beat him by a bumper was uh, was pretty cool and pretty neat. Staff wasn't the only one to pull off a dramatic come from behind win. Winnipeg's Ethan Friesen slipped by Derek Pollock in the final lap. Pollock led for the entire race until Friesen made his move on the final turn. This is actually probably the top race I've ever competed in. The racing at Red River Co-op Speedway, people are very competitive there, so to beat them is a, a real reward. GM Blair Bodley was thrilled with the great racing and huge fan turnout for the two-day event. However, he believes they just started to hit their stride. Car counts were huge, tons of fans in the stands. The racing was phenomenal, you know, both nights, Thursday, Friday. Um, as, a, as a racetrack, uh, you can't ask for any more than that. 